Welcome to the first ever Dank Podstash Hot Tokes, a new short video series from Enemy of the State's Dank Podstash. This first video is coming out about a week later than anticipated, so go ahead and ignore the dates we talk about at the beginning of the episode. Uh, from here on out, it'll be coming out every Monday for $1 patrons and every Wednesday for everybody else on the public YouTube channel. If you want to see this early, don't forget to go to patreon.com slash the dank podstash and support the show with just a dollar a month. If you find yourself unable to donate, no worries. Like, comment, and subscribe. It's a perfect way to help us out for free, and we'd love to hear your feedback. Now kick back and enjoy the very first episode of Dank Podstash Hot Tokes. All right. Welcome to an impromptu Dank Podstash video, a uh, name to be decided with my homie Daniel Johnson. If you're seeing this, this is going to come out on uh, this Wednesday. So that would be what, October 30th? Oh, shit, it might come out on Halloween. I don't know what Wednesday is, 30, 31st, something like that. If you're seeing this on YouTube, that's where you're seeing it. And if you're seeing it before that, it's because you're a dollar Patreon uh, for the Dank Podstash at patreon.com slash the Dank Podstash that you see right there on the screen. We're going to just take a little 15-minute uh, times to talk about some random shit that we want to talk about. And uh, we're starting out heavy, starting out with our disagreements on anarchy and religion. Uh, it's going to be heavy, but it's also going to be fun because it's fucking you and me, Daniel. So, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm I'm excited. Yeah, well, I guess I'll I'll kind of lay it out. We had a conversation a few days ago, maybe a week ago, on our positions on religion and anarchy, and I don't have any problem with anybody being religious, however they want to be religious. Uh, I'm not. I, if anything, I'd say I'm an anti-theist. I don't like the hierarchical structures of religion, um, but we have disagreements pretty much there i think on the hierarchical structure of religion and whether or not that's actually religion or that's man's involvement in religion uh, i think that the way things have gone down religion has shaped the world how it is now uh to the same extent as the state through hierarchies and deceit and things like that um playing off of the good the good parts of religion i guess but i also think that there are bad things in religion inherently uh specifically i guess from christianity looking at the old testament before i guess you could say the reformation of christianity and i'm not talking about the martin luther reformation um that god was cool with genocide and murder and all that stuff if that's really his position uh, daniel rebuttal <laughs> i think we uh we got in, didn't we uh, get on this subject um, because, I th oh, it was because I put uh, voluntarism above anarchy, yes. above anarchism. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Yes. And um, I've, been, I've been thinking a lot about, like, anarchism and voluntarism, and I, um, I think, and I told you a while back that, like, I got into it with some mutualist over over anarchism mm -hmm. and he said well you're not technically an anarchist if you're religious mm. if you if you believe if you believe in god because of hierarchies and so forth and and so um and that's when i asked you what you thought about that and i think that's how we got on the subject um your position yeah your position is uh that religion has kind of got us to where we are now. Correct. I think, I, and I definitely take a, I definitely take a different stand. I, I don't see, um, my position is I don't see, oh, and I'll, um, I'm going to crucify myself here. <laughs> we'll no see. pun intended. We'll, we'll see who, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, for those that for those that don't know, um, you know, and for but for those that don't know, I am a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints, yeah, also known as a Mormon. And <laughs> AKA a Mormon. So, <laughs> AKA a Mormon. Yeah. So, um, and I think, and you know, we've had we've had fun 
fun banter back and forth. I think I joke about, you know, that someday I'm going to baptize you or something. Yeah. I just want to know when I get to see your magic <laughs> underwear. Oh my gosh. Here we go. <laughs> so, um, yeah, my, my position on, on faith and religion, um, are we, are we using those interchangeably? I think they're separate. Okay. Okay. Um, religion, what, what, how do you, can I ask you how you define religion? I, uh, loosely and off the top of my head, I guess right now, religion is kind of the, the group of traditions, um, around faith. I, that, that's yeah, simple right okay. there. Okay. I, I, I'd agree with that. Yeah. I'm, I just, uh, it's a process. I, I, I think I would define religion as a process by which, you know, people exercise their faith. Mm. Is that, mm -hmm, that makes sense. Okay. And, and your, and your stance is that religion has led us, you know, to where we are today. And it's, it's, um, for better or for essentially, worse. And a little bit of both. It is, yeah. And my, my position is that religion is not, my position is religion is just a tool. Um, I, I don't blame, and I don't, and it's, it's not, I don't blame any religion, whether it be um, any sect of uh, Judaism, Islam, or Christianity, or, or anything um, outside of that. I don't, I don't blame any religion for, for the atrocities um, that have been perpetuated on mankind throughout history. Mm -hmm. um, I see, again, I just see it as a process by which people worship um, the higher power that they believe in. Um, I believe that my position is that men have twisted religion and and with that scripture and so forth and and just to, to suit their um their evil desires mm. so that they can um um uh, oppress and and so forth that so that's that's kind of my position i don't think religion is either um i don't think it's bad or good it's just it just is it's just a tool i see it like like i would see a gun it's just a tool so anyway yeah it makes sense and i think when you said that before about religion being a tool like a gun um that immediately made me think of when people uh, usually minarchists probably kyle wagner at some point has said that government is just a tool <laughs> government's right. just a tool that can be used for evil or good and <clears throat> i don't think government can be used for for good because it's it's not voluntary whereas religion can be voluntary um but i think it certainly can be used for bad and i would say that the religion part of whatever spirituality we're talking about is what is used for bad versus your faith or your relationship with whatever deity that you choose to follow. Um, yeah. I think the the ignorance, uh, like, I don't know, was it the Catholic church back in the day that didn't, uh, hold their sermons or have any of their writings in anything, but Latin. And that was before Luther, uh, translated right. stuff to German. So they're holding power over people not knowing what's going on. They're having these in crazy religious rituals and saying that the priests and uh, monks or whoever, the, the authority figures, the people at the top of the hierarchy, are the ones who are your conduit to God and whatnot. So listen to what we're saying so then you get into all kinds of bullshit. And that's the part I'm not, I don't like. Right. I think it's innocuous. It's, it's really right. completely innocuous if someone's just like, I choose to believe in God and uh, I have a relationship with them. Um, the part that gets me is the, like I, like I referenced before about the old Testament, like God told the Israelites to destroy civil, like whole cities and take the women and children for their, for their own. And so 
or, and that that's when it breaks down to well did god say that or is that in the book because man wrote it did someone change it you know that kind of thing it's very possible it's very possible that it was again evil men twisting it um right and and, and i we can agree that um you know evil people throughout history prey on the ignorant mm -hmm. um we, we agree on that right mm -hmm. yeah and and so they and so they'll they'll um use that to their advantage and say well i'm on this is what this is what god wants me to do you know mm -hmm. and and we've seen that we've seen that in throughout history in you know in we've seen that you know numerous times mm -hmm. and in the world history that has happened very recently i mean wasn't it george bush who said that this you know the wars and everything was what god wanted him to do and another crusade and stuff like that crusades you got mm -hmm. the crusades i think george bush said something Probably. about it when you know they started getting into iraq and everything but um I don't, th I, I, again, I think that's just, you know, evil people that already have the desire to rule um, using something they know can really manipulate people. Mm -hmm. um, and again, it doesn't make that thing bad. I think religion, I see religion as something that was started to help other people. Um, through through charity and and you know caring for your brothers and sisters and and um just being a good person and i and i see i, I don't see real, um, government as a tool in the same way i see government government was because government was created to rule mm -hmm. um whereas i see religion created to help i see government re, um, created to oppress mm -hmm. I think I think I see spirituality and the idea of God uh, having been started by mushrooms and religion or other psychedelics and religion uh, started as maybe pre-government. But I don't think it was started out of benevolence. I think uh, some people have good hearted people have used it for good, but I don't I don't think it was started that way. What so what gets me about specifically Christian anarchists um, and specifically, I guess, the pages and people who have that that picture and with the caption, whatever the picture may be, but it says no king but Christ. And I, I prefer the, right. the no gods, no masters um, slogan over that. I think uh, giving right. giving over rulership of yourself to anything or anyone is a danger. Um, and yeah, it because what what is it's not like anybody's directly talking to God necessarily that we can prove. So what are you talking to? Who are you listening to in your translation of this stuff? That's the stuff I don't like, and and even more. And that's just my my problems with the the individual ideas, the the spirituality version. Like someone has a personal relationship with God, um, and then obviously outside of that. Look at the Catholic Church. I'm not down with anything like that. I'm not down with any hierarchical structure in religion. Right, right. And I think, um, um, and 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 if that if that is, I, um, if that is the 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 thing that makes me not an anarchist or makes those. Um, Christian anarchists that say no kings but Christ, you know, if that if that makes them technically not an anarchist, um, I would I personally will say okay, fine, then I'm a then I'm a voluntarist, mm. um, and so that's that's kind of why I hold voluntarism above sure. anarchism. I think you know, volunt voluntarism encompasses everything. It just says okay, because you know, in a stateless society there will be people that want to be ruled, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And if they so choose, they can take their, you know, community or their group of people that want to be ruled and go be ruled over there. Mm -hmm. Whereas, um, and I, I still believe in community, but I think that, um, you know, and then those that want to, 
you know, be more free also, but also in a community and maybe still have uh, laws as long as they're voluntary can go, you know, live over there. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I see voluntarism and I hold that um, above it. And I don't, I mean, I, I, I get along with anarchists and, um, and, and so forth. I, I think that um, maybe the basis for um, people saying no king but Christ and still calling themselves an anarchist, maybe they are more so talking about in this lifetime, um, if we believe there's life after death, you know, and Christ will come and rule again. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, in this life, yeah, they're going to be anarchists. But once Christ comes, and we and we as Christians believe Christ was the only perfect being, um, and then I have I have no problem answering to someone who is actually perfect. So and I, maybe that's the basis for why they why they have that slogan. Yeah, that makes I don't sense. I don't use that slogan. So. Well, I don't, but, I don't think any of that makes someone not an anarchist. I just don't like the I, idea behind it. it. Makes that would make me uncomfortable, and it it sounds a lot like the like are you are you giving away your autonomy if you're saying that someone else has uh, the rights of a king over you, and that brings up a whole nother long argument about self ownership and if you can sell yourself into slavery or something like that. I know it's obviously not. Um, as what would, it, what would the word be nefarious or shitty as selling yourself into slavery if you decide to let God be your master, ruler, king, or whatever? Um, that's that's up to you. And really, the rules that people follow, um, with their religions are pretty much self imposed, like you, you're not going out and and saying, oh man, if I do this, it's a sin and I'm going to get in trouble when I get back to church or whatever, or something like that. It's you're, you're out and you're saying, I'm not going to do that because I don't believe in doing that. Right. I think, um, um, and, and there is, there is in, in my faith, there is a, um, um, a confession process, um, for when you do for when you do sin but it really is on a a voluntary basis you don't have to tell um anybody you don't have to tell your um um your ward um leader which is your bishop you don't have to tell him um what you've done that was a sin um if you don't want i mean if you're if you're honest you you will um, and if you, if you believe in that and, um, it's something that I've done. And so, um, but again, it's all on a voluntary basis. I think that, and again, that's why I hold voluntarism above anarchism, just, just straight anarchism. Um, because I'm, because, um, I think that, um, coexistence more based on um, voluntary principles mm-hmm. would last longer. I still strive for, I still strive for a stateless, um, rulerless, uh, society. Um, it's, it's hard. It's a, it's a, it's a long shot, but, um, I still strive for that. But the thing that I want beyond that is just voluntary. So, mm-hmm. and, and living mm-hmm. among a voluntary community with vol- voluntary rules and and so forth so sure yeah i don't really see them as being different if it's anarchy it's voluntary by definition and if it's voluntarism then it's anarchy that's that's the way i see it and uh yeah on that note man that's a good uh dank pod stash sound bite okay hell yeah hey thanks man hey you bet next week you'll probably be joining us again maybe somebody else but uh, this was kind of your and my brainchild, so we'll keep it running. Thanks, everybody, for watching.